Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting down to film a very impromptu video. It's always so wild how these things work out, but either which way, I hope you guys are curious about the ColourPop X Disney Alice in Wonderland collection because it just landed here in my house and I've got all the swatches for you. I'm going to create a look, give you guys some first impression thoughts in case you were considering picking any of these items up. So yeah, let's get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I love to test out new makeup. I also love to talk about new makeup. So if that's interesting to you, if you like to see tan girl friendly reviews, see swatches on a medium to tan complexion, highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I wasn't expecting this, but with ColourPop, you just never know what you're getting. So I did go check my mail because I ordered this shirt from H&M and I had to check my mail anyway. And it's actually nice out in Fargo and the ColourPop and Alice collection was in my mailbox. So I scurried back to my makeup room so I could film and I do have a doctor's appointment today. So I'm trying to squeeze this in. Hopefully I can get it all done. So on this card here, it says it is a limited edition collection and it says go down the rabbit hole with all new shades for endless looks. So I have swatched everything. I did do close-ups. I'm going to pop everything on the screen here while I tell you a little bit about these items. So the first thing is the Lost in Wonderland pressed powder palette. It says explore the Wonderland in 12 curious shades in matte metallic matte sparkle and pearlescent glitter finishes. Now I don't have any of the prices for these items but the collection will be available tomorrow so definitely check it out but typically with the Disney collabs they tend to be a little bit more expensive. I will say just based off of the swatches of this palette, it did not swatch well, you guys. I personally think it swatched terribly. That's why I put a white eyeshadow base on because it was very, very lightly, gently, barely pigmented. So we'll see. Hopefully it'll have some payoff on the eyes. But I already primed my eyes with a white eyeshadow primer because... I'm hoping to get some kind of pigmentation from these shadows. So next we have the Topsy Turvy Queen of Hearts Luxe Lip Kit. Swipe on our Luxe Lipstick in Blur and Crim Finishes and High Shine Luxe Lip Gloss in Bright Pink and Royal Red Hues. Now the lips did swatch really nicely. The glosses aren't really my favorite shades, although I was definitely surprised by the shade Croquet Queen. It looks like a dry blood shade, but when I swatched it, it almost looked like a brownie color. So it potentially could be very flattering on my skin tone. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. I did swatch it on my hand. Next, we have new shadow sticks. These are three metallic shades of our super creamy multitasking eyeshadows in a stick that glides on effortlessly. Now ColourPop did send me all of their new permanent shadow sticks and I did use it in a testing new makeup video and I actually had a lot of fun with the shadow sticks. I really like the formula. It's incredibly creamy. So if you're into the whole one swipe eye look, then you might want to check those out. And then the one thing that I definitely saw myself picking up is the Press Powder Blushes. So we have two shades and it says get blushing with warm true pink and a vibrant red shade of our silky finely milled formula that blends like a dream in a soft matte finish. I cannot wait to try out the red blush. I'm going to wear it today in the look. And then it says only on ColourPop.com you can get the Oh My Fur and Whiskers Pocket Hairbrush, the perfect mini hairbrush mirror to use when you're running late, late, late. And I love that this is paying homage to the Mad Hatter and his clock watch. So super duper cute. 
and I remember having one of these when I was younger. I definitely had it in my purse. I'm definitely gonna use this keychain because I just got a new vehicle, so I wanna use it as my keychain. And then from Fort Thray Beauty, we have the Pure Madness Overnight Lip Mask. Have a very merry on birthday with our nourishing lip mask infused with squalene and shea butter. It also will be available in stores and online at Ulta. So yeah, hopefully I was able to fit in all of the B-roll, all of the footage I took for you guys. This collection is pretty big. It's not overly huge, like not tons and tons, but still there's quite a variety of products. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the blush. This is the pink one called Oh Dear. I thought I was gonna skip this because honestly it looks very light. And this is like the thing I was most interested in everything that launched with this collection. It's the shade called Silence. And it's a really pretty vibrant red shade. So I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. And I did grab two of my other favorite red blushes from ColourPop so we can do a quick comparison for you guys. So I'm just grabbing a Sigma brush and I'm just gonna tap on the pan. I'm gonna dust it off because this did feel very vibrant and I don't want to go too overboard I'd rather just like build it but you guys know how much I love red blush kind of want to do like a my favorite red tone blushes video so definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in that but I feel like they're super trendy right now along with the pink blushes because everyone's trying to like dupe that Dior blush which Honestly, not the most flattering shade for my skin tone, but I know people are nuts about it. <laughs> anyway, look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, so pretty. I could stop, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop now. Okay, how pretty is that? I'm just going to throw on like a dash of the pink just in case, but I was kind of scared because... I don't want it to like muddy up my face so it's very light for my skin tone so I'm glad they did like a lighter blush and a darker blush but silence definitely was the thing I was gonna pick up and then I just want to show it to you next to the dancing darlings blush so as you can see dancing darlings is a lot more burgundy leaning this one's more coral leaning and then I also have playoffs from the High School Musical collection. And this one looks like a much more muted red shade, where this one is a lot poppier as well. So clearly not dupes. I do have another shade from their permanent line, but I think it's upstairs, so I don't have it with me to compare. But I was thinking maybe the shade Papaya, but I don't have it on me right now to compare. So. If I can throw in a picture, I will. If not, I'm just gonna leave it. But those are the two blushes that I wanted to compare them to mainly because I have been just like stocking all the red blushes that ColourPop has been launching. So this is the eyeshadow palette and let me just take it out of the packaging really quickly. So this is the color story. I've already made such a mess with swatching this so I'm just gonna grab a blending brush from Sigma and I really want to do like a green look so I'm gonna go into the shade Mad Tea Party which is like the minty matte green and we're just gonna kind of get that on the crease and start blending Okay, I don't know if it's the white base, but I think it's really helping this shadow pop because you guys will have seen the swatches by now. I was not hopeful when I saw the swatches that this was going to show up on my skin tone. So I went a little ham on the eyeshadow primer <laughs> and I used the NYX SFX primer. I don't think you can get that anymore. But I like to use it as my white base. So yeah, that's really helping quite a bit. 
And then I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to go into the shade called That's Logic, which is like a peachy brow bone shade. And I'm just going to apply that on the brow bone because I don't want to have like a stark white base sitting up there. So just doing a little bit of a blend to cancel out the white. Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade called Nothing's Impossible, which is like a sparkly black, and I just want to use that in the outer corner to deepen up the eye look. And I'm just going to use a smaller blending brush for this. Okay, so I'm taking the brush that I used to pick up the minty pastel shade and just kind of helping blend the black into the pastel just to give it like a more diffused look. And then for the lid shade, I kind of want to use a little bit of this green shadow stick. So I'm just going to go straight on here and just kind of tuck that onto the lid. No fear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No fear. No, no fear at all. Okay, and then I'm just going to take this shadow brush from Sigma and tap that out a little bit. And then I'm going to take the green shadow, the metallic shade from the palette called Stark Raving Mad. And I'm just going to pick up a hefty amount of that. And we're going to give it a nice little spray with my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to foil that on top of the shadow stick. Okay, so I did keep the eye look very simple because I don't have a ton of time to play with this palette right now. But overall, I think that this is not ColourPop's like really, really good formula. I think if I was going to buy this palette, I would literally buy it just for the packaging, honestly. I'm not very impressed with the color story or how the eyeshadows perform. The green metallic shade was probably my favorite thing. Okay, next I want to test out the overnight lip treatment really quick. Obviously, I'm not going to wear this overnight right now, but I just want to swipe it onto my lips and see how I feel about it. I did have a little bit of lip balm on earlier, but let's go ahead and try this and see. Because I did end up buying the one from the Snow White collection, and I wasn't overly impressed with that one. It was more of a exfoliating lip treatment. This one's an overnight lip treatment, so... I'll definitely test this out some more at night and keep you guys posted maybe in an upcoming video or like my haul video in April but this one feels pretty hydrating it smells really nice so I'm gonna keep that on while I throw on some eyeliner put on some mascara and I'll also throw on some highlighter and I'll be right back to try out the lip products and yeah, then we can, I guess, talk about my final thoughts. Okay guys, so we threw on some mascara, we did something with this hair, we threw on some earrings, so now it's time to play it with the lip products. So there are two lip kits in this collection. The first one is called Topsy Turvy, and it includes the kind of more pearlescent gloss, and then this is like a rosy pink shade. I am not really like familiar with like Alice's lip color or anything like that so I don't know if those like tie together but that is the one lip kit and then we have the Queen of Hearts lip kit which has Croquet Queen and the My Ways lipstick so that's a very like red shade I will pop up more swatches if we need so I think with this look I'm gonna try the Topsy Turvy set both of these lip colors I think are very vibrant so let me go ahead and swatch this on my lips yeah definitely definitely not for the faint of heart and I just realized I forgot to take the lip mask off it is still on there and it's definitely hydrating I like it better than the one from the Snow White collection so I will continue to wear that and report back to you guys but this is definitely not a me color when it comes to lip products like don't get me wrong I love a good vibrant lip shade but this is like a very very pink I'm gonna just put on a little bit of this luxe lip as well just to be extra 
but honestly neither of these lip combos are ones I would have picked out for myself so keep that in mind I just wanted to try one of them on in this video just kind of for the purpose of giving you guys some first impressions I don't have a problem with ColourPop's lip products I think most of them are pretty nice lip products I just don't love these colors for my skin tone if that makes sense so anyways i have my full look on so let me go ahead and give you guys some of my thoughts on this collection okay so overall i think this collection is beautiful it's very cohesive as far as the colors and like this little flyer like everything's in this like pastel dream kind of vibe so i love that i love all the packaging the details, 10 out of 10. If you are a diehard Alice in Wonderland person, if this is like your movie, I feel like you're really gonna love this. So for collector's purposes, I think this is really fun. Now, if we were to take out the fact that this is a Disney collaboration with Alice in Wonderland, I don't know that I would recommend really anything in this collection for you guys. I think this palette is very cute. I love the packaging. Again, everything is really, really great. But this color story leaves a lot to be desired. This is a very challenging palette because the only deepening up shades in here are shimmers. So if you wanted to do something to get it to have some depth, you would have to use this black shade, which has a lot of metallic shimmer in it. Now, the shimmer didn't really like show up when I put it in my crease, but this black is incredibly hard to blend. You kind of just have to put it down where you want it to go and it doesn't really blend that well so that's discouraging i wish they had given us at least one like deep green or a deep blue just to kind of help with these color stories right here all of these mattes are so so pale so so light that you can't really do much with them as far as working them into the outer corner if you like a more smoky look so i feel like i did the best i could with what i have but it was not ideal this shade is very pretty i did end up putting it in my inner corner and then this feels like one of those like hybrid like glitter shadows that they make now with like a lot of heavy sparkle in it so i think that might be a pretty shade if you like to wear that on your lid and then the shade i used on my lids did foil very nicely but man, this matte, I think it really just needed some help. It needed a dark matte for me to kind of like make this work. So I feel like I don't know what other looks you could really do with this palette. And maybe that's just me. Maybe people are going to do amazing, gorgeous, out of the box looks with this. But for the level of skill that I have when it comes to makeup, I feel like I did the best I could. So that is my two cents on the eyeshadow palette. As far as the lip kits go, I think these, again, the packaging, 10 out of 10. The colors, just not my favorite. Both the lipsticks are very bright colors, which is fine. Like, you know, that's okay, but I would not have gone out of my way to buy these lip colors. And I'm pretty sure I said that in my new makeup releases video also that I posted on Tuesday. The glosses are very interesting. I think I prefer the gloss shades <laughs> to the lip shades because the lip shades are just like wild and bright and I just don't see myself reaching for a hot pink like this. The red, maybe I would wear more, but I didn't want to wear it with this look because I didn't think it would really go with this mint eyeshadow look. So I don't know, like I'm really, really curious to see what kind of eye looks people pair with these lip products. I guess I could just use this gloss. Maybe I could try that just after I take this look off and to go to my doctor's appointment that I have after this. Maybe I'll just try it on and see what I think. But yeah, the lip products, not really my fave. Nothing to do with formula. I just don't like the colors that they picked out. Definitely my favorite thing in this collection is the blush. I'm very excited. I really enjoy ColourPop's blush products. This shade is just not very me, oh dear, but I will definitely give it a solid try when I do my makeup again. And I love the shade Silence. I think this is definitely the highlight of this collection in my humble opinion. 
I love the little collector's item. This is really fun if you just want to throw it into your cart. And then as far as the shadow sticks go, I did mention to you guys that I really like these. I think the formula is very creamy and nice and glidey. It doesn't dry your lids out and it doesn't feel like tuggy when you're putting them on. You can just swipe them on and do like a really pretty one shadow look if you wanted to. So yeah, I like these, but I definitely, again, would not have gone out of my way to buy them if I was buying this collection. And then the little overnight mask. This is honestly probably a packaging buy for you. My guess would be that if you are like a big ColourPop collector, you probably have your Winnie the Pooh honey pots, your Snow White apple, and now you have the little mushroom that you can collect. And you can have all your little lip treatments sitting on a shelf if that's totally your vibe. I totally get it. But I will say this is nicer than the Snow White apple. So in case I didn't already say that, I'm saying it now. But those are kind of my first impression thoughts on the ColourPop x Alice in Wonderland collection. I feel like I kind of had the reaction that I predicted I would have. I am happy I got this in PR. I was planning on picking up the blush if I had a chance to do it at Ulta, but I was definitely on the fence because ColourPop never really gets to me fast enough to be able to like review it and get views on YouTube. But since I was sent this in PR, I wanted to make a video for you guys since the collection is launching tomorrow. I will definitely have all the information I can find in the description box and I'll make sure that I post a community tab post as well just to remind you guys in case you're interested in picking this up on the ColourPop website. Just know that some of the links and some of the codes I have are affiliate links and codes. And so I will make a small commission, which helps run my channel, keep my channel afloat. So I do appreciate that so, so much. And it doesn't cost you guys anything extra to shop using my links or my codes. So yeah, that is it. Let me know all your thoughts of what do you guys think of this collection? Were you interested in it? Were you planning on passing on it? I love chatting to you guys in the comments. I love reading your comments. So I hope to hear from you in the comment section and I will see you in a new video tomorrow. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.